um, it's been a while since I've uploaded and first of all, happy 2021. Today's video is a vlog on how I prepare for the new online semester. And what I'm always doing first is I'm decluttering my files so I will transfer all my old first semester notes um, to a binder. So right now, I am just hole punching them. So next, I transfer my notes to their respective binders and I have a binder for almost each subject and I keep these notes um, because I have a feeling I will be needing them for college since I'm taking introductory classes in college. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a what's in my binder or how I organize my binder. So now I'm just decluttering my envelope where I usually store practice exercises or extra notes of a subject and I'm transferring these to a sheet protector and that sheet protector will be going to my binder. So aside from physical decluttering, I also do digital decluttering where I throw away old files in my laptop that I do not need anymore and I reorganize my entire laptop and just reorganize all the files by making folders so that it will be much neater to look at and much easier to navigate for. I also decided to use a habit tracker this year and the reason is I have a lot of habits I need to keep track of and sometimes I'm not sure whether I'm doing it every day or not so a habit tracker is a neat way to keep track of all the habits you want yourself to keep practicing and doing. I also keep track of the medicines and vitamins so that I'll know if I'm taking them and it's essential as these are like my immunity boost against COVID-19. I've also decided to print some study printables that I made myself and these study printables really help me especially in my chemistry and in my physics class as these are like summaries that I can write and if I just need a quick overview then I can just look at these. Of course, since it's a new year and a new online semester, I definitely got myself a new planner and it's time to set up my new planner. So I just quickly did my monthly spread for the month of January and I also did my weekly spread for January and I find it really helpful to have a planner especially when doing online school since it's a great way to keep track of your assignments, your deadlines, and your tests so you will always be able to submit your requirements on time. I also find that having a planner and using it is really helpful in terms of organizing and that you will at least have a general knowledge of what is gonna happen tomorrow because you know the events because you listed it in your planner and you can also make your planner a to-do list so in general you know what to do for that day and you will not waste any time anymore thinking what to do the next day Since it's a new online semester, I would have a new school schedule. So I've taken the time to at least write down my whole class schedule so that I won't be confused what subject I have next. And I made this printable by myself and just printed it off. So now my school schedule for the second semester is quite hectic as I have week A and week B with week A being the lightest where I get out at around 12.15 and week B being the heaviest where I get out at 2.35. So I find that my subjects this second semester are more heavy in terms of projects rather than lessons because I have double research um, subjects this semester 
and I also have arts which is my worst subject every year so I'm not looking forward to arts but on the other hand I still have my AP physics class and I still have my chemistry class and this semester will be finishing early I'm supposed to finish at May but um, I will be finishing on April because I would need to be doing some graduation preparation so it's kind of like the graduating class gets like a month off from school but that means that the school will also be um, what you call this cramming my work because it's basically two quarters will be crammed into maybe one and one fourth quarter so since it's a new semester i need to like make a whole new set of classes and schedule on my ipad so i use the app iStudious just for the scheduling because i like how it gives notifications that i have around five to ten minutes before this class starts so in a way it reminds me what class is next so you will see me here adding different classes since these classes are not the classes i've taken during first semester and since it's week a and week b i had to add twice the amount of classes in there which took up quite some time but i of course enjoy the process of doing this because i just like organizing and planning everything because i just want to make sure i know what my day will look like so let me explain why I don't use iStudious Pro for my assignments and test dates. Um, this is because I don't like how the appearance is and the functionality. For me, I am very picky with what kind of appearance and functionality I need for a school app that does tests and homework. And I'm happy to say I found another app that works better for me. And I've tested this over in the winter break. So I will be showing you guys that app next after you guys see me scheduling a ton of stuff of this. So if I were you, don't be afraid to like explore other apps that may help you be better. I know it can be quite time consuming and it may take some time for you to find the right app that works for you in terms of your school workload but I promise it will be worth it since you will be able to use it to its full potential and you will less likely be changing to other apps because you will feel more content if you explore and test those apps out so i suggest you might be testing them over during winter break or summer break before school starts so you'll know which kind of app can help you in school the best So next this is me setting up my class subjects in Sigma Planner where I'll be using this app for tests and assignments. I like Sigma Planner better in terms of the tests and assignments because it is more powerful compared to Asudius Pro and I like its appearance better. I don't like its class functionality because it doesn't have a week 1 or week 2 option. But iStudious Pro offers week 1 and week 2 option for class schedule which is why I still use iStudious Pro for class scheduling. And that Sigma Planner doesn't have a notification like in 5 minutes or 10 minutes this subject will start and iStudious Pro has that and it's something I really need to remind myself what subject is next. Next is me setting up my good notes folders for chemistry, English, and AP physics. And I find that taking notes on good notes is much more faster and efficient when I'm doing online classes because I can just straight up picture an equation or a diagram instead of just copying it because it's gonna be harder, it takes more time. Whereas in GoodNotes, I can just compile them and make it more organized later. And it also helps if you have a teacher who moves the slide very fast since you can always take pictures of the slides. Mm -hmm. 
now I'm setting up the tags in the forest app because I have to put in the new subjects and delete the old subjects since their history. And I love using forest app when studying because it has good analytics that show me how I fared up between the day, the week, and even months and year, which no other study timer has. But um, I'm also using other study timers because I want to try out their functionality and you will be seeing a couple of other study timers in the next parts of the video. Now I'm setting up the color legend for study bunny and the study bunny app is like a free alternative to the forest app and I just love this because it reminds me of a game called Poe but instead of playing games to earn coins, you will have to study to earn coins and to make your bunny happy. But the only thing I hate about study bunny is that it doesn't have very good analytics of your studying time compared to forest. So I'm setting up my subjects in this Korean study timer app and this is a lot more different than the forest app. Um, compared to the forest app, it's more customizable in terms of the color legend you want because you get to pick a lot of colors and shades that you want to go with your subjects. I also love how they have this little planner thing in the app where each day you can like make to-do list from the app for each subject like what you want to accomplished so other than tracking your study time and it also has like a satisfaction for each day whether you are satisfied enough that you completed this amount of tasks so you can look back um i also like that you can also post something saying if you're feeling sad or you're feeling good and where others can react and help you so it makes it more i don't know it's like it makes it more of a community rather than forest but other than that um, I don't like its analytics as always, Forest has one of the best analytics for a study timer app but what this one also has is ranking so it's very competitive, you can join study groups and you, if you study more and you be more present in the app, the rank of the group will go higher and of course you also have individual ranking like Forest but all in all it's also pretty much good app if you want to try it out and it can also be better than forest in some aspects. So I'm now setting up my subjects in the Study Smarter app and what I use Study Smarter for is it's just organization for my files for each subject and it also allows me to annotate my powerpoints and create summaries from my online textbooks and powerpoints that I have uploaded. So I used to use the flashcards option here but it kind of got really buggy and I don't want to do it on the computer. So I found a, another free app that allows me to have flashcards with pictures for free and it has better spaced repetition so I'll just be introducing that app in my later videos. Next, I'm setting up my to-do list via Memo Widget. Memo Widget allows me to create multiple to-do lists. So what I've done is I created one daily to-do list where I will see which task from each subject I need to accomplish and put it there. I've also created different to-do lists for each subject so that I can track which subject task I still need to complete. And I like how customizable it is because I can set the font and the background and I just love its widget because I can just swipe and see um, what tasks I have to do. So the widget I choose is normally for the daily to-do list. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys liked this video and found some inspiration on how to start your new online semester strong and i will see you guys in my next video bye